Now they're going up the grid. The right hand side is definitely a bit damper. So in front of uh, position two, it's reasonably damp on the line straight ahead of position two. Copy. So found everybody is medium up until Joe P14 is on a soft and Ocon P18 is soft and Perez from the pit lane on hard. Everybody else medium. So that's 13 over, found 13 over. Just a bit of space now and then you can accelerate through 10, 1, 2. You have a good break into three and then make a bit more space, apex of three if you need. Lean on the tyres through four and five, and then high speed weaving all the way to six. And then out of seven, Albon's forehead. You've got high speed weaving all the way to nine, and just a little 50 metre lift into nine. And then lean on tyres through nine, and high speed weaving all the way to ten. Let's slow on the exit of nine. Careful, slow on the exit of nine. Lean on the left front wherever you can. Good weaving. A bit more weaving in down to 15, a 50, 75 metre lift into 15, 75 metre lift and then a good final break. Lean on the front left at 15. Staying on the racing line, you can just scrub the surface. And we're okay for six minutes, we're okay for six minutes, but use the K0 button before you start. So six burnouts total, and then watch your grid position. One switch, race. And first gear. I'm watching last cars on the grid now. Minus seven, you're only minus seven. DRS is enabled, DRS is enabled. So consider shape five and forward and brake balance when you can. Shape five, forward brake balance. So there could be a very light shower. Turn 15 first in about three or four laps. That's very light. Consider shape five, consider shape five for the whole lap. So you might get a few drops in turn 15 shortly, but in about 10 laps, we'll get proper rain. So we have reached the peak of the tyre temperatures now, and with that rain, we can probably push these tyres a bit harder. Copy. So for now, in about six or seven laps, we're expecting the first bit of rain. It'll be similar to what we had before we went to the grid, and then it'll stop for about five minutes. And then after that's stopped, we then expect a bigger cell of rain. Can I have an error balance check for the drives? Error balance check. Maybe 0.3 more needed. First drops might start in turn seven in about three laps. They'll be light for about five minutes and then heavier for ten minutes after that. So we've just got about five minutes of this very light spitting there. So five minutes of this very light spitting. Yeah, drops of rain, but completely dry. But go with the onboard camera of the leaders. You tell me in advance. Yeah, copy that. We'll wait. So when the heavier rain starts, it'll be like what we had before the lapse to grid, and it'll last about five minutes. Then it should be a bit less for about ten minutes. So it's looking a bit heavier in turn seven and fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Copy that. Also, probably seventeen, eighteen caution. Russell is slow in 15 and also 17, 18. It's a caution, 15 or 17. It's not wet enough for winters yet, we think. Got loads of energy if you need to. So, turn one, both Mercedes have gone off. It's not that heavy in the pit lane, but just caution, turn one. So, we think it's this level for about 10 minutes and then it should get lighter and got loads of energy. Loads of energy. So we are definitely thinking we've got to stay out for now because 
The heavier rain's coming in about 10 minutes. There's good grip ahead in 11 to 13, good grip. Okay, Fernando, so we think there's no rain or very light for about six or seven laps, and then there'll be about half an hour of proper rain, so that'll be the time the proper rain comes. Keep watching the front cars because there is some drops. Yeah, copy, Fernando, copy, we're on that. So about three laps until we get a bit more rain. The cars at the front are fast now, track's good now. DRS is enabled, DRS enabled. So when the rain starts, it might start gradually, so we shouldn't jump too early. Yeah, raining in 15. The cars in front are only a tenth slower in turn six, seven, but seven is a little bit wetter now. Yeah, keep watching. So Norris lost three tenths in 15, and then five tenths, two more tenths in 16, 17. It's yeah, very dark. And so when the rain comes, it will be here for about 25 minutes. So three tenths slower in six and seven and then one second slow in turn nine for the first cars. OK, so there's more rain from turn nine onwards, so 20 kph slower in turn nine. So we still think we better stay out one more lap. Copy. So turn one about 20 kph slower for the front cars. So a bit more careful, turn six, seven, getting wet at six, seven. So about 50 kph slower in turn nine is left. And let us know when you're ready, we'll be ready. Yeah, difficult to say, me. I'm, I'm thinking probably stopping for now. Let's, let's box, 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 box. Copy. Maybe one more lap. Science ahead is on Inters. So Inters are fast enough, I don't think we're stopping this lap. Copy. And box, 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 box. Box, box. So tyre switch dry, sorry, tyre switch white into R. White into R for the tyre switch. And shape one, shape one. Track's clear, track's all clear. So you can go to talk 12, talk 12 and race 2 on a run switch, race 2 on a run switch. So we're expecting this rain for about 12 laps, this rain for about 12 laps. So over close. So Lance's tyres are already very hot, one lap before us. Consider diff mid six or seven for some stability. And you can call the tyres where you can, I think. So Perez ahead will get blues. He's two ahead of you. So nine more laps at this level of rain. Nine more laps. Yeah, not rain, anyway. It's gonna get dry or rain more? And we think we've got about eight more minutes of the same, which is reasonably dry sector one and two and wetter in sector three. So about eight minutes of rain still in sector three. And then dry. Yeah, confirm. And then dry. So I can push the tire maybe. I mean, we will not drive into the very wet circuit with these tires. Yeah, confirm, Fernando, confirm. We're not expecting any heavy rain, so you can use these tyres. It's just about whatever makes them fastest. So you're doing a good job in turn one and nine managing. That is probably the fastest way around with these tyres. Your tyres are cooler than Lance's. So you're currently about a second lap quicker than Lance. Strat seven is free. Strat seven is free. So rain is a bit stronger now in the pit lane the last sector. 
So sector two also getting a bit wetter. We've got about five laps of this, and then it'll be no more rain. The way I can go faster. People going a bit faster now, 11 to 15 than last lap. Yeah, give me some updates. Very difficult to judge how much to push. Yes, I think we should push now. We should push. Sector three is drying. Sector one is now the slightly slower one. So we can push this. And once the rain stops, there'll be no more rain to the end. So Norris is one and a half seconds up the next lap on the previous lap. So last lap, you were half a second quicker than Lance. Same lap time as Piastri in P5. Copy, but if there are specific corners, please tell me as well. The only place you could try pushing a bit more entry speed to turn three, maybe a bit more entry speed into three. So we're at crossover on lap times and first cars have stopped, Magnussen and Ricardo. Copy. Could be this lap, and let me know your thoughts. Oh, difficult to know, man. Yeah, Fern, let's box this lap. Box this lap. Copy. Box, box. It's a tyre green dryers. Tyre green dryers. The pit box is on the wet side. She's so cautioning into the pit box. And also the pit exit on the dryers, just careful. Track is clear, the car's ahead of you on dryers. The dryers are faster everywhere, apart from sector three. So shape three, shape three, and Brunswick's can go to race. So Perez ahead is a lap down, if you catch him. So at the end of this one is 12 laps to go, 12 laps to go. Hulkenberg ahead of Lance is on softs, so he could die later. And we're currently P8, we're currently P8. So Lance is five seconds ahead of you, Perez two ahead. DRS enabled, DRS enabled, and Perez has got blues. So Lance is four and a half ahead. So Hulkenberg is Eight and a half ahead of you, Lance four and a half. So ten laps to go, ten laps. But now we've seen the diff overshoot a bit, the diff, so you could go mid seven, mid seven. Okay, eight laps to go, eight. So about four tenths a lap quicker than Hulkenberg at the moment, four tenths, he's seven and a half ahead. Six laps to go, six laps to go. Five more laps, five more laps. But what about the fuel? Yeah, Fernando, we're all good, but we will take lift into 15 and 16. A bit of a lift into 15 and 16 for the last few laps. We've been watching. Which number you want? Let's do 25 meters lifting coast, 25 meters lifting coast, and I'll let you know. Oh, which number do you want? Yeah, I know. So if we can just save point one from where you are now, saving more, saving point one more, we're okay with that. Three more laps, three. You can go to strat six, strat six, two more laps, two more laps. Strat five, strat five, and one more lap, one more lap. Yeah, check a flag, check a flag. Well done. Run switch cool, run switch cool. Oh, sorry, run switch warm up. Run switch warm up. And then MFB blue override, MFB blue override, position 12. Take the pickup and away in, please. That was P7, P8, Fernando Cross. Take the last bits of pickup around here. And we'll have P0 as well, it's P0.